What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off about last time, we started building up our uh, infrastructure, our economic, uh, economic foundations, and we took uh, Fort Nashwak and we also took Quebec. Now I also want to take Montreal and I want to give it, in good faith, to my Iroquois allies. Um, or do I want? To? Yeah, I think I. Yeah, I will. Because I'm going to want to try and do a bit of. Well, I don't know. Canada became a British province, so I'm tempted to keep it. I've given some other land, someone else. But we also need to take out um, this army that's built up here, with our own uh, navy. That's ah oh, yes, he was being picked up from up here. Um, bring them back to port, and I'd probably like to sail these guys down to go and capture some of the uh, pirate islands first. Um, but not trying too far outwardly go after French territory, because like, like, just like I said in the original part, I want to try and make this more of a phased war, I suppose. But let's head in turn. Too much jabbering on for my liking. Um, but yes, the overall idea is to make it so that I don't have just carte blanche to keep attacking every single piece of French uh, territory in the, in the theatre, because that can get a bit a bit boring. So my objective is to, is, is the, the continent, boot them off the continent, and then see where we are from there. Declare peace see what our next move is. Like I said, I've got eyes on Portugal because it feels like it would be a useful territory to have in Europe for the similar reasons, well, sort of similar reasons to my Mexico campaign and also because they will have no allies. See, they, would, they could have just taken Montreal right then but they chose not to. So instead, I will take it myself, I suppose. Take it myself, and then probably try take Newfoundland, and then try Sue for Peace. Now, my original plan was Continent, Sue for Peace. Newfoundland, Sue for Peace. Uh, then I'll probably go around the Bahamas. Okay, so here's my army. So I want to, as best as possible, merge units, because I'd like, in the long run, to have more highly experienced troops than I normally do. So if I do this, and if I move these guys out of Montreal, they're unhappy, unless I exempt them from tax. Let's take my spy, get him into Montreal. Good, got in there successfully, and then let's build next level governor's residence, next level roads. And then what's cheaper? Militia's still cheaper. They're cheap, they're more expensive to buy, but they're cheaper to run. So let's recruit this chap to kick that port. That navy out of the port. Let's take Silas Talbot. Engage. Well, auto resolve. Victory is ours. Awaiting further orders. Let's keep merging together. Same with you guys, I suppose. Replenish and then move on Montreal. Low yield mine. It's pretty big. Plus 800, there's no farms or yes, some boy. such I can get. Oh, yes, and you were moving back in response to this French army, which obviously this army I've got is no good to combat such. Combat such an army. Waiting for your Waiting order. Further order. 
Um, but let's pick up a unit of line. Although, eh, we are still we are recruiting Hessian line. At the red. Stay inside Philadelphia for now, so they can help get the garrison bonus. You're converting away, good. Going for empiricism to help get some of the, the wealth enabling uh, techs. Cool, end turn. I suppose Montreal tactically may be a good place to capture because it would allow us, it would be another good spot for a school longer term, because you get lots of villages in Montreal. Or lots of towns growing in Montreal. One school's a minimum. Two is better for me. Three is ideal. I think I've got no, no, no maths or no statistics or no data to base that on. It's just my own personal feeling. It feels like with three, you can very easily uh, focus on one particular technology while also not being left behind in other areas. See, they're, why are they... They're moving back when there's a French army going after them. I don't get it. I really don't. Hmm. So it's just crossed my mind, but if I made peace with the French, they would still maintain their war with the Iroquois Confederacy. So I'd make peace, I'd still lose territory to the French, so I'd have to properly uh, kill that army as well So I, before I make peace. Because so I could station some sort of navy. Oh, gentlemen. Good. Get to school. Good stuff. Got some government buildings being built. Okay. My agent, you have your first assassination mission. Your Got him. Austria have cancelled our trade agreement. In which case... Oh, it looks like it might not be from their doing. Oh no, it is. Because we cancelled trade agreements, but we also lost the ability to uh, create any new ones. Move you into Philadelphia. Let's bring the guns up. And keep an eye on him. Good enlightenment is going to start to bring growth. Charlotte will be developed. There's a midget or a fly in front of my screen. Okay, Charleston might not be a bad shot for a school. But Montreal normally gets... Crano, there's Fort Frontenac, and I thought there was one more. Could well be misremembering. Anyway, onward to Montreal. I'm just gonna take it. Let's take the militia to the port, kick them out. Let's take my navy, such as it is. To Plymouth. So let's fix the Montreal magistrates. Build basic roads, because right now everything is shrinking. The roads in alignment will start to create growth, and we'll also get expo exports of, of our pelts. And then. Let's put a magistrate in conservatorium to start growing Quebec. Religious unrest is bad, but this guy in next turn will be ready to move and move up to Quebec and start to get rid of all the Catholicism. Yep, Trois Rivières will be developed in 90-something turns. And then we've got a thousand, so let's get... I suppose we get the Ordnance Factory to start to get some 12 pounders, some decent artillery. Cool. End turn. I'm hoping that French stack goes on to try to take out the Venetians. 
Oops, the re re they've relocated to the north. To be honest, it might be Charleston that gets the new school. Because I'd like to... Well, I, like, I want to develop my military, my... Well, everything. I need to get fire by rank, I need to advance my naval techs, and I need to advance my philosophical techs to help my economies grow, I need to get my industrial techs to keep my industrial growing, my industrial base growing. Yeah, so much stuff to do all the while. I'm competing against all these major powers, well, soon, soon to be competing against all these major powers who will have no problem with out-teching me. Good, engage the French. Although Tupas did, did not see where the French went. So they could well have... No, I don't know where they... Well, no, I, was about, I was about to propose a theory. I don't know where they've gone. The Barbary states still being cheeky little scamps. They've stayed where they are. At the red. Good, so you've got good roads. You are now 100% Protestant. Off you go on your walk to uh, New France. So Montreal's not got much going for it at the minute. It's got some furs. So this chap's got an abundant yield, so he is the priority to get, to get more furs to market. Uh, do we need a barracks there? Not really. Do need an ordnance factory here. The population, like, not great. Hmm. So, diplomacy. See, they've. We can trade with the Austrians now, but they've already cancelled before, so it's made me. The Huron. Just trade. Denmark is who I wanted to trade with. Go on then, I have canister shot. Good stuff. So I have open trading relations with the Hurons. Good, 7,000. Well, the weirdly, says all our trade traders over land, which is a lie. But I'll take it. Cool. So then, if I try and claim peace with the French. That is just between us, it's not between all of us, I don't think. So I think I do need to engage that army. And this should be more than enough. So 110, 48... Yeah, their infantry is better than mine, but I've got loads of it. I might wait for one more turn and see what they do. New Spain has got Corsica. So, oh, that they traded Corsica for Santa Fe. Interesting. Nothing else too crazy has happened. There's been a swap here. Prussia's taken Dresden as per... This was Finland? I can't remember which one Finland had now. But everything else seems generally the same. So let's, let's hit N10. So at some point we do need to declare on Britain. But I'd very much like fire by rank before that happens. Because either they'll have it. Or, like, it's going to be... A, by the time I get over there, chances are it's probably going to be quite a big naval risk to get over there. So I'll want that maximum firepower. Like, I'm not going to want to uh, to let them... I'm trying to think of a way to describe it. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a challenge to get over there. So if I'm going to probably lose whatever fleet I send to get them over there, I want... The chaps I do land 
to be powerful. But to be honest, it looks like the French have probably still not moved, so I'm probably going to end up attacking that army to make sure they're destroyed. Then trying to seek peace. And if there can be no peace, we will take more of their territory and attempt to seek peace. I hope Morocco hangs on, because Morocco would be a lovely place to capture. Good, so we've researched empiricism, so we can get next level schools, and we can handle it. Because that goes five, becomes six. Okay, Colin Andrew Hamilton. Let's get your feet wet. Well, <laughs> next turn. Uh, everyone else seems okay. Maryland is Protestant. Virginia's Protestant. I think it's just Charleston that's probably got some Catholicism in them. Good. Start to immediately convert the population. Good stuff. Okay, research and tech. Get on to ring bayonets. Good. I hope that's one of our ministers. It is. Good. Oh, I've got oh, trying to kick out our justice. Better than nothing. Again, it's still a shame about our monarch. Cool. In turn. Hmm. See, this is going to be the tricky thing with Britain, as it was throughout history, their naval power. But if we can attack the French and secure peace, that would be good for now. Then I would probably like to try and send an army over to attack something like Lisbon or... Morocco. Morocco would draw me into conflict with the Spanish. And it's got a big ass garrison. But if I'm gonna be declaring war on the Moroccan on the Spanish anyway, then it would probably be a good thing to do. Good the Mughals are keeping the trade lanes free. Denmark's one to watch, because if they lose Iceland, Iceland would be a nice little holding uh, holding site for a transatlantic D-Day. Not bothered about the pirates, because I have no holdings in the Caribbean. Try to execute their spy. Damn. It's got a new governor's residence. Let's go for a government council. Let's get some more furs exported. Let's probably get some. Opera House is probably pretty good. Check my capital's not got anything to research first. Get the Royal Observatory, crank up the happiness. Because maybe Harrisburg might become a university. Well, I like it to be becoming to become a university because I can get the top tier uni there. But towns need to grow, and they don't like it because the French are in you're in town. Driver. Stirring up trouble. Let us attack. So they're infantry, they've got the same range, but they shoot better and they're better in melee and they're better at reloading and have more ammo and all that lovely stuff. So I'm going to rely on massed firepower more so than decent firepower. 
but it should be okay. It's like it's very uneven. Well, not super uneven. I mean, it means a bit bumpy. Okay, so maybe put artillery back on this slight rise. Got more rank of line infantry to advance. Another rank to advance on from another side. Cavalry on each flank. General in the centre. Oh wow, they're actually running out. Colonial Light, hit the Cheval Leger. Don't charge, just run through. Because they're gonna. I should just run straight through then, if they're going to stand there and present themselves like dummies to be shot at. I want this to happen. Nope, come back then. Charge the gendarmerie. It's going to be ugly. Doesn't matter though. I saw that horse teleporting. Send them to advance up against the general's bodyguard. Good, we are beating Cheval Leger. Let's move out my provincial cav and let's move out my infantry. Let's run them up to take care of those chaps. Bring the flanks around. <laughs> well, I thought my, it's my Royalist American infantry that's going yee-haw! Come on, lads. Okay, so they are engaging. Let's 
get up to the top of the hill. There's no anti cav sticks. Present to shoot that gentleman off his horse, man. has actually come back. Okay, so let's pivot. Start to advance the wings up. Oh man, that was bad timing to stop moving you. They gotta move in or else they'll die. Bayonets, charge in. So my cavalry charges uphill into the combat. Yep, unsurprisingly, my cavalry is routed, but as long as they survive, that's what matters. Should be these militia. Yep, they have no bayonets. Huge losses. Send these militia on a just a bit of a rampage. Have them just keep going, and instead get my cavalry to prosecute the routing troops. You lads, fix bayonets. Hold on, musket fire. Hold artillery fire. Send in the troops. They're more better at lining, better at melee than me, but they don't have bayonets, so even my militia with bayonets should be able to do enough damage. That and I've got a metric crap ton of them. There we go. Slaughter them! Yeah, that was the end of them. Good stuff. Or they'll rout. But we'll chase them down. Yeah, there's 200 remaining. Yeah, chase them into, into, into uh, Iroquois territory to finish them off. So let's bring you back. But let's cluster together the elite troops. I 
can't even remember, can't replenish anyway. So let's do diplomacy. French peace. Tactical withdrawal. I don't know why he's left. Well, he got booted out of that territory. Oh well. Come up and around. We're still allied. Oh, we guess we don't have... Um, I don't know. Maybe there's like a... There's a military access thing that goes on. Natural causes. Oh, okay. You weren't really doing much down there, good sir. So, Mr. Hamilton. He got some good stuff. Plus two morale, plus one morale. Patriotic sword. Okay, now let's start to look towards Europe. So Morocco would be a nice would be a nice one to capture. It gives me a foothold to work against uh, the North North African states. Helps me control the Strait of Gibraltar. Does mean I might have to garrison this quite heavily to stay relevant against the Spanish. But as you said, the Portuguese have no allies except for Dagestan. The Dagestan would actually draw in Venice, I believe. Bavaria, Mysore, Portugal, Morocco, and the Italian states. So either way, I take either of these, it's the same problem. So I'd probably like Lisbon, because Lisbon's more wealthy than Morocco is. So that's my objective. After a bit of economic building up, of course. Can't just sail an army across. Well, to at least get bayonets. Cool, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.